Hello everyone and welcome back to this video on the code bakery. So in this video I'm going to be discussing the solution to this code versus round 117 division 2 which is problem D, common divisors. So I'm going to link the problem in the description below. So I highly recommend all of you guys check out the problem, read it, and at least give it some thought before watching the rest of this video. So I'm just going to get into the solution to the problem. So before watching this part, I guess just try to read it yourself and try to solve it. But here is the solution. So this problem is essentially given two strings. We want to find a common divisor among the two strings. So and a divisor in a string, as they consider it, is essentially a substring that is repeating in it. So if we take the substring AB and we like essentially continuously add itself so AB and then we'd add another AB it would get us to the original string and then a common divisor is essentially a divisor that the two strings share so for example I have AB 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 here but if I were to have another string AB AB they both have the common divisor of AB, because they both have a divisor of AB. So first, let's discuss how are we going to determine if, like, a... How are we going to determine if a... Oh my. How are we going to determine if a substring is considered a divisor? So this is actually a pretty, like, simple solution. We're just essentially going to iterate over this original string and then check whether the current substring is the same as the divisor substring. So for example, for AB, I would go, okay, are the first two letters the same as the divisor? Yes. And then I move to the next two letters. And the same thing, this is also AB and the last two letters. So we can see that AB is a common device is a divisor. But let's say I wanna um wow, okay. Next time I'll probably use a different software for this. But let's say I want to try ABA. I will essentially just go through this and say, okay, ABA is considered a is the same. But then when I go to the next three letters, BAB is not the same as ABA. So this is not considered a substring. So how are we going to determine whether like whether a or how many uh, common divisors two strings have? So first we're going to say we have to make the observation that a divisor can only be like the divisor's length has to be a common divisor of the original string's length. So for example, this string's length is six right here. So the only common divisor's length possible is one, two, three, and six. So for example, we cannot have a divisor's length of five because it just simply, like the first five letters could be the same, but then we don't have enough letters to have for the second part. So it wouldn't be the same. Now, essentially, what our program is going to do is um, okay. Essentially, what our program is going to do is that um, we're going to go through all possible divisors of this first string, and we're going to say, um, okay, whether whether this substring is a divisor of the first string. And then we would just like put those essentially like in a set and say, okay, among all of these divisors of the first string, are these also divisors of the second string? So that is that is essentially going to be the entire program. So all right, so I'm just going to briefly go over my code right now. So first I have the method is divisor, and this is just taking our first string and checking if our second string is a divisor. So like I mentioned before, in order for the second string to be a divisor of the first string, the second string's length has to be a divisor of the first string's length. 
or else we're not going to have like enough letters in the first string for the second string to be a divisor because there will be a remainder like just like normal division and then you're going to see that um, in order to check if s2 is a divisor of s1 I'm just going to iterate over the first string and check all consecutive substrings of s2's length and see whether that is equal to s2 or not and obviously if that substring in s1 is not equal to s2 then it isn't considered a divisor so now in our solve method I'm essentially just going to take these strings over here and this set of strings is like the divisor the possible divisors for s1 that I'm going to check against s2 and just a reminder a set cannot contain duplicate um, elements but in this case we're not going to have duplicate elements because the maximum number of strings of like each length is one we're not going to have two strings of the same length which are both the divisor of the same string so now we're going to essentially loop through like all substrings of string one and check whether this is or it isn't a divisor of string one and one important thing to note here is that to check the divisors of an element we only need to check over square root n numbers because like let's say um i'm just going to like go over like the first square root of n numbers in a number and then you can see here that uh, i get if it is a divisor so if the current number is a divisor of like size one then i can take that and i can also take size one over i because that would be the other divisor so a half of the divisors is less than the square root of our number and the other half is over the square root of that number and then i can just get both by just like dividing so obviously i'm essentially just checking this condition mentioned over here first so obviously if i is not a divisor of our size one then it is like impossible for it for that length to be a divisor and then i'm gonna check both of the strings one of the length of the current number and one of the length of the other divisor that one multiplied with the current number gets us our size one so i'm checking okay is this first string substring a divisor of s1 and is the second string substring a divisor of our string mm -hmm. and if it is i'm just going to insert it into our set of divisors so these are this is essentially getting all divisors of the first string and putting it into a set and then over here i'm just going to initialize an answer to zero because we want to see okay how many common divisors they have then in each of these divisors of string one we're just checking if the this divisor is also a divisor of string two and if it is then we just increment one to our answer and then in the end we're just going to like print out our answer and this is essentially the entire code so brief recap we're just going to get all divisors of our first string put it into a set then check okay is that is that divisor also a divisor of our second string and if it is increment our answer and print out our answer so that's the entire solution so thank you guys for watching this video on the code bakery and i hope that you guys enjoyed it and that you guys can also check out other videos on the code bakery so thank you and goodbye